Kids How To presents Cheeky Art. Hear him bellow, hear him roar. It's Squidgy the dinosaur. Let's draw some hearts for his sunglasses. That's right, he's so cool. He's got heart shaped sunglasses. They are super electrifying. Drawing the outline of his face now, his jawline, and his cheeks. And let's not forget his nostrils and his mouth, of course. Oh, he's a happy one with some teeth. Yes. Rawr. Now we're going to draw his tummy. Yeah. Then drawing his hands. A little bit of detail on the palm there. Round his belly. And the other hand. He's got one thumb and three fingers in each hand. And we're going to do some really cool dino talons. Yeah. Look at that, nice big dino feet. Don't forget the tail. And a star, because he's a rock star. So we need lots of stars around Squidgy the dinosaur. Hey, do you have a favorite toy? Or Dolly, maybe? Yeah, me too. I used to love my Dolly when I was a little girl. Right, ready to paint? Let's start with red. Go vibrant on the heart sunglasses. Yeah, fantastic. Then blue next. Blue around the edge of our hearts to make the red really stand out. And let's go for yellow now. We're going to paint Dino's hands and arms and obviously his body. We're just gonna do the outer part of his body for the time being, side to side, staying in between the lines. All the way round. Oh, that tickles. He's very ticklish, you know. Tickles his belly when you paint it. You have to be so careful. <laughs> Let's do his second arm now. Right into his fingers. There. Let's do his head now. Around the sunglasses. Painting his cheeks. And his chin. Oh yeah, Squishy the Dinosaur Oh yeah, he can bellow and roar Rock out! Painting his other cheek And his nose Going around your oval shaped nostrils very carefully That's it, keep in between those lines Hey, now pink! We're gonna do pink nostrils and a pink tummy Look at that it really stands out, doesn't it? Bright yellow and a brighter pink. Ooh, I just love it. Yay! Let's do some gold now. Gotta have a bit of gold on our tail. Yeah. The dino with the golden tail. Now, how about some silver? Why not? Silver teeth and red again for his tongue. That's right, you guessed it. We're going to go peachy pinky for the rest of his mouth. Now for some brown, let's do his feet. Painting around those claws. Painting around those talons. And a darker brown, I think, for those. Yep, we're going to have some nice, strong, dark brown feet. Brilliant. Let's paint the stars. Green. Wow. Whoa, that looks so cool. Pink. Let's make it match his tummy and nostrils. What next? How about blue to match the rim of the sunglasses? You can choose any colours you like. We love to mix and match. And there you have it. Gorgeous Squishy the Dinosaur. Yeah. Aw, so cute. Hey, kids. Today we're going to draw a lovely butterfly. Let's start with its wings, small body, another wing and its antennas. That was super easy. Let's add the pretty details too. Curvy lines and small circles. Wow! It's looking great! Time to paint. Let's start with a beautiful golden colour to fill in the body. 
and some of the details too. On to some red color. And green. Some lovely blue. And here comes pink. Let's go for purple. Some teal now. Let's finish off with some magenta. So colorful and magical. A lovely, beautiful butterfly. Hi kids. Look, a cute little owl. Let's learn how to draw it. Start with an oval shape. Keep it equal on both sides. An owl has very big eyes, so draw two big round circles. Next the feathers and ears and the pupil. Now draw a semicircle and the wings. Just like that. Fill in the semicircle with wide U shapes. These are the feathers. Lastly, let's draw the feet. Let's give it a nice neat outline. Hello Mr. Owl. Time to fill you in with some lovely colors. Color in the body with the orange color. Keep going with nice neat strokes. Did you know that the color of owl's feathers helps them blend in with the environment? Let's color the ears now using a brown color. Color in the wings with brown too. Our drawing is turning out great! The rest of the feathers can be colored with peach.
typically use with Peach 2. This makes the features stand out. Now let's finish off with yellow for the nose. And yellow for the feet too. The owl is complete. Great job kids. Hope you had fun drawing. Hi kids. Let's draw a chicken. First, let's draw three eggs. Now draw the nest. Just some curvy lines. For the chicken, first the body and the wattle. Beak, its comb and the eye. Super easy, isn't it? Complete the rest of his body with the wing and the tail too. What a cute little chicken! It's time to paint. Let's use speech for the nest. and eggs with grey colour. A pretty light pink for the face. And orange for the comb and wattle. Lovely! A yellow beak and grey eyes. Use a dark grey for the body. Let's make the tail colourful and fun. Light green, pink, yellow, cyan. And blue. Yay! Hello cute chicken. Hope you kids had lots of fun. Hey kids! Look! It's our very own cute furry friend. A dog. Let's draw. Start with the face. And now the body and front legs. and fun. A cute nose and the big eyes. Let's draw a yummy treat for our friend. Don't forget the ears. And of course, don't forget the tail. Finish off with a nice neat outline. Amazing! And now we colour. Let's colour our dog a light brown. Hey little friend! Let's keep going.
on to our body now. Aren't dogs your favorite too? They definitely are mine. Let's color his ears with a dark brown. The other one too. Almost done. For the nose, a slightly darker brown. And the tail. Done! Isn't he the cutest little dog ever? Hi kids! Let's make a snail today. We will start by making the body of the snail with a hard round shell. The mouth. And, of course, the eyes. Wasn't that easy? Now it's time to fill in colors in our snail. Let's use green for the body. I love the color green. It's so good. Yellow for the shell. Let's use some red for the mouth and pink for the small tongue. Let's use a little of pink, light blue and red for the line, dark blue, purple, green, pink and red for the line. There you go, a snail is ready to roam in the rain. Hello kids, for a yummy pineapple, draw a curved U shape. For the crown, let's draw little triangles, just like that. And the last step, cover the pineapple with slanted curvy lines. And now, let's do the same to make a crisscross pattern. This is so much fun. 
and drawing a pineapple is super easy. Let's add the final touches by making more triangles for the crown. And done! Time to paint. Let's start with the color gold. We're going to make a fun colorful pineapple. So now let's use some pink. And now some green. Some purple will be great too. Orange will look perfect. And now some cyan. And let's not forget red. Wow! Let's use green for the crown. We did such a great job! Woohoo! Look at all the pretty colors! A yummy and healthy pineapple! Hope you had fun! Hello kids! Let's learn how to draw a castle today. Start with the entrance of the castle. We'll add a wall to the right and left too. Great job! Now let's add a tower. with a little heart on top. For the main tower, let's make it bigger and add a window too. Let's draw a smaller tower once again. And done! Let's paint with pretty glitter colors. A sea green color first. And some sea green golden again. Just like that. A lovely gold for a grand center wall. And red for the gate. Orange for the heart. Then purple. Gold. Green. A dark pink. A light pink too. And some sea green color. And gold again. Now on the next one, blue first. And once again, purple. Gold. green, a dark pink, use blue and light pink too. Let's use a dark pink for the rest of the tower. We're almost done kids. Let's repeat the same colors once again. And 
Our tower is done. Let's not forget the window. Use blue and gold. Wow! We did such a wonderful job. Here is our magical castle. Hey kids, look at this beauty. Isn't he gorgeous? Let's draw him. A beak and the neckline, the body, the wing, the legs and feet, and the glorious tail. Do you know what kind of bird this is? Take a guess. That's right, it's a peacock. Look at that amazing display. Some lines down the middle of each feather. Little bit of detail here on the head. Ready to paint. Okay, we're going for gold, first of all. That's for the beak. Next, we'll go for green. Aw, and some blue. Yes, our peacock body is going to be blue, but of course you can choose any colour you like. Really, it's your picture so you can be creative. And the wing. Brilliant! Going for brown for the legs and the feet. And yellow now for our middle feather. Carefully painting around the black lines, leaving that teardrop shape. There you go. And pink. Ooh, I love this colour next to the yellow. Gorgeous. What's your favourite colour? <laughs> Me too. I'm doing the same either side of the yellow because I think it really makes it stand out. It's called symmetry when it's identical, exactly the same on each side. Green for the next one. Lovely! Other side too. Yellow, pink, green. Hmm, what colour shall we do the last feather? Red! What a great idea! I was thinking exactly the same. Strokes from side to side. One half at a time. Excellent! Ooh, we're almost there. And around the teardrop shape. Woohoo! Going for pink for our first teardrop. Then how about yellow? Yes, it's like a backwards version of the first feather. And some red. Lovely. Other side. So how about green for the last one? Brilliant! I just love it. And you're done! Amazing! Look at that beautiful display! The peacock is truly wonderful!